Hey guys, Motor Junkie here again with another haul. I have one little tiny Bricklink order and one uh, Shop at Home order. Let's start with the Shop at Home. Take my scissors because I don't know where my knife is. I don't know how I always lose my knife. It's not like I have very big areas to keep things. Alright, it's not a very big Shop at Home order. I got the uh, 2014 Lego calendar, which I think it's just 12 months, so I can't open this one yet. I bought this for work, just so I can hang it on the wall and possibly start conversations with people about Lego, so possibly get more used bricks in my store. Um, there's a lot, I, I am a Subaru tech, I work on Subarus, um, there's a few older guys in the shop that have had kids and the kids moved out and they still have toys and such. I've actually talked to a couple of them. Um, and I plan on, you know, trying to get their Lego uh, stashes, if you will. Uh, that way I can put them up in my store and get the variety up and hopefully find some cool old parts and whatnot. Uh, I would really like to actually eventually have a monorail set. Uh, my One of my older brothers had one when I was uh, younger and I would set it up and play with it and whatnot. So, I got the calendar and then I got sorting trays. Not one, not two, stuck in there, but three. And that's it. I didn't even get a calendar or a uh, catalog or anything. Just this and the invoice. That's no fun. Should have bought stuff when they had the fake, the Tom fake. But I didn't really have any money to spend then. Not that I have much now. But I'm trying to get my store off the ground, so I got my invoice and that's it for that. And now we got the uh, little tiny bricklink order. Let's see what we got one bag. I got, this is from uh, eBricks Online. They have a really cool splash page on their site. Now, I bought, it looks like just a bunch of random little parts. I, uh, I'm following Lego for Chris's lead, where he built his, um, what the, the cafe corner. The modular building from just ordering parts and partnering it to, together. Uh, I'm going to try and do that with the uh, the Market Street. Um, it was a factory set. It the uh, it was like the first modular, but uh, some people don't consider it modular or something. But in order to buy it together um, as the set, the cheapest one in the U.S. is seven hundred dollars, and that's used. The uh, cheapest new one, where there's one listed at 773, but he lists it as incomplete. So I don't know how that would be new. The next one up is actually uh, 1,975 dollars. Um, and then for my basket, parting it together, it's uh, the well. I'm just looking up the part out value because that actually kind of tells me what it would be and that's 494.35 um, that's average last six month sales so I'm gonna try and buy stuff a little bit cheaper but I don't think I'm really gonna go out and search for the parts like this I uh, from this order I just needed a torso and then I just I have the uh, wish list of everything that's needed for the uh, Market Street so I had them throw that in so uh, yeah, I'm going to be piecing it together, but not all at once. Um, so that's my first part of that. That'll be something, hopefully that'll be interesting. Now the torso. This is for my, uh, my logo for my store. I got the tux top from the town hall, which I have right up there. I didn't want to use my own just because... I want to try and keep that set complete. I like the modulars. Um, I want to collect them all. Uh, just 
I, I really like the concept. I like how they look. Um, I like what some people do with uh, the custom ones and stuff too, but I don't have the creativity for that. Oh, strike that. I don't have the building ability for that. Uh, my building ability pretty much stopped when I stopped really playing with Lego, which I was like 12 or 13 at the time, and I went into my dark ages, and then only recently came out. But here's the little torso. I don't know how well you can actually see that. Uh, let me try this. But let me build the fig. Um, don't mind me standing up because I have to grab some parts that are actually behind you guys. Yeah. I only have a couple in here. But this is... I used to work on minis and I got this mug for free. But now I work on Subarus. Because mini didn't want to pay me money. So I'm stealing the head off of this plumber. Actually, no. Let me, uh, let me do this first. I'm ripping his arms off. Just like that. And then I'm going to put on some special arms, which I'm going to do down here, just so you can see. Snap. Snap. And then we put on the plumber's head, which sort of looks like me, but has stubble. Um, I just kind of grew this because I wanted to see how long it would get and how much I could grow up before my uh, my fiance yelled at me. Um, but now I can't shave it because it's no shave November and I'll be shaving it December 1st. So, and then I usually have stubble. I'm going to be stealing the pants off of this guy. I don't know his name uh, or what set he was out of. I have a few little stuff over there. Um, but it was a 2012, 2013 Star Wars. If you guys know, leave it in the comment. I'm stealing his gray pants. And, I don't know how well this is going to look, because it's a lot of colors. Eh, I guess it's okay. I should maybe get some different pants. But, this guy is going to be my logo for my store. It's, uh, the chicken head and wings from the Series 9 chicken suit guy. The head from the plumber, which... I don't remember what series that was. You guys can fill that in down down at the bottom. The uh, tux torso with the blue tie, blue striped tie, from the town hall, and some dark gray pants, dark bluish gray pants. I might switch out the pants for black. I wonder if they ever made a tux with red on it, because that might look a little bit better than the red. Um, you guys tell me what you think. This will be uh, my... Avatar picture now and picture of my site and everything. So after I'm done this video, I'll take some pictures of him and put him up. I might change it with the head too. I don't know. I like the concept originally. I didn't actually build it, but now that I'm actually looking at it, I don't know if I like it or not. I'm undecided. Here, let me let me put the chicken legs on him. See if that makes any better. Here's my here's my chicken guy without a head or without wings. I'm gonna take his legs off. And swap them over. Right now I'm doing some testing. I don't know. What do you guys think? What she like more? We got uh we got these legs. We got the gray legs. What other legs do I have? Some tan. That wouldn't look very that wouldn't look right. Some uh some gray legs. Um I'm doing organizing. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I'm doing some organ reorganizing with my store. It's uh, not by color. Well, not going to be by color anymore. Um, each one of those cases right there have, or bins or whatever, have uh, 60 individual bags with one lot per bag. That way, whenever I buy more stack-ons, I can just take one of those and fill up the stack-on. And then I don't even have to change the numbering system and or the remarks in Bricklink because I can just name the snack on, stack on B's. But right there is B1 through B4. I have it B1 dash and then a number up to 60. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then I have 
this dude. So let me got, let me know what you guys think about the pants. I'm starting to ramble now, so I'm gonna end this video and see how long it takes for it to upload. Uh, see you guys.